In this video, I'm gonna be picking out a new rug for our RV, and I'm gonna help you determine what size rug would you need for your RV. In 2017, I bought the rug that I have in the camper, and it has been well loved. It's been through dogs puking on it, things being spilled on it, and it's time for it to retire. It's getting harder and harder to find items in stores. They just don't stock them. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna look for my next rug on Amazon. I ordered three different rugs. I wanted to make sure they were washable. Even though I had a couple of friends that have bought, they had bought a ruggable rug and they did not like it. They said that it was so thin and then you had to buy a pad to go with it. It was just too much trouble. They, it just never would lay right. So I was kind of nervous when I decided to go with a washable. But for inside the RV, I feel like a washable rug is the way to go. I know things get dirty in your house, but it's like times 10 in a camper. You are usually sometimes in parking spots that don't have concrete. You're walking in off of the dirt, the mud, you're bringing all that in. Your rug in your RV gets way dirtier uh, than it does in the house. So one, I wanted to go with one that is washable, but we're gonna, I'm gonna pull up this rug because it needs to go. Don't judge. The dogs had a couple of puking accidents on it just recently. Normally I would get the Bissell carpet cleaner. I've got like a little handheld one and clean it up. I knew I was replacing it, so I just, no reason to wash it to replace it. So I wanted to grab three different size rugs. I know what size rug I want, but I wanted to show you how different sizes fit in an area. So my space is 81 inches. That goes from the edge of the carpet to the other slide and then 78 inches from the island to the sofa. That is the actual dimensions of my area so that you can have like a visual of what my space size is compared to yours. I got one 48 inch round rug because I've seen on Facebook a lot of people they love the round rugs so I wanted to get one to show you what that looks like. I got a three by five which is 36 inches by 60 inch to go for this face to show you what that looks like. That's the size that a lot of people put in their camper from what I have seen on Facebook. That is the go-to size because it doesn't actually go up, it doesn't touch the sofas, it doesn't touch the slide, it just fits in the space. Now the one that I had here before, and it was the size that I decided when I first bought our camper, I got a five by seven, which is 60 inches by 84 inches. It just depends on what works for you, but the five by seven is, I feel like, the best fit for us. So I got like this pretty round rug. Now, I have to say, as far as the pattern goes, this is probably my favorite pattern. I, I got all of them look different. I just did them all different. I didn't think that this pattern I was gonna love, but this matches my camper the best. I love the look of this and the color. It just matches. It looks so good and I think it would hide dirt very easily. So let me put this down and then we'll talk about it. Now for this rug, I just don't think that it takes up enough of the space. It's really small, but the color of it, I love the color of it. It looks so good. So now let's go to the five by seven. Now this is the five by seven. To me, it just doesn't fill up the space enough. Like I said, this totally is your own personal preference. That might not be what look you're looking for. You may want it to be just a little rug that's in the air, the small area. But for me, I just like the bigger rugs. Now I do like the colors of this. I think that it's really pretty. It is a little lighter color than I thought. So I don't know how well it would wear in the camper. It is super pretty. I believe that this one and the next one is both the same brand. When I first pulled them out of the Amazon box that they shipped in, oh my gosh, 
I was super impressed. They are so soft, so plush, had like a rubbery backing on the back of them that would hold it in place. I wish you had fill -a vision so that you could feel how soft these rugs are. Even the round one is super soft. It is not as plush as the other two, but it's the more expensive brand. These, this one and the other one, they are super plush and they just feel so soft. It'd be great to take a nap on. This one was the five by seven. I think this is a great quality rug. It was $67.99, which I think is not horrible for a rug, especially a washable rug, because I have been looking at them and I don't know, but they were like a hundred and something dollars, majority of the ones I looked at. Except when I got onto Amazon, I found some a lot cheaper. I'm not sold on the pattern of this, even though this the colors go perfect with my wallpaper that's in my little window areas. But I think there's too much pattern. Like this is a pattern, that's a pattern. I don't know. The round rug in the five by seven is $20 more-ish. I think it was like $84.99. I don't know which one I would want. I know I wanna go with a five by seven, but let me know in the comments if you like the color of the round rug better or this rug better. Now, the, the, the little three by five, that one's gonna go in my four year in the house. <laughs> I, uh, after I got it, I was like, ooh, this looks good in my foyer. Now, I did go ahead, before I even used them, I washed it to see if it was going to lose anything, like if it was going to look faded or anything, and you cannot tell any difference. It washed really good. My washing machine didn't have a problem with it at all. I did have to put it outside for it to dry. It said, do not put it in the dryer, but it was perfect. It it looked and acted just like it did before I put it in the wash. I just feel like this one's gonna get so dirty. I'm gonna probably end up returning this one and the round one, the pattern that's in the round one for the big square one. Even though I don't think, I don't love that rug, it's still just as nice. It's just not as plush as this one is. This one, it just has a feel to it. It just feels phenomenal. Now, the round one, it feels soft and it's super nice. It just doesn't give me the luxury feel that this one does. It just feels, this one feels just a little bit nicer just because the pile is a little bit thicker. But I'm afraid I got too much pattern going on in here and I think that one's gonna hide the um, dirt better. Well, I think this one is really pretty. It's way lighter than what I thought it was online. I do have, they're supposed to be here today. They just have not got here yet. They're like pads that go on the bottom of your rug to hold it down. And I wanna try those out and see how well they do. So I'm gonna finish this video probably tomorrow. I just wanna go ahead and get this part done. Cause like I said, I don't know. I'm gonna leave this rug down for tonight and then I'm gonna come back and look at it tomorrow. I was looking online. I may go with the gray multicolored one that's like this, just because I like the feel of this rug better. This particular rug that I got was 60 something dollars. But then if I go to the gray multicolored one, it's $80. And the round in the five by seven is $84. And I know I love that pattern. I may just do that. Dang it. I hate making decisions. I'm sure y'all do too. So hard making decisions. I don't know. Oh, it's on sale today for $79. It wasn't that cheap when I looked at it the other day. So it's the same price. Oh, I'm so ordering that. Okay, so I'm gonna order this one. It'll be here Friday. So I guess I will be back here in a few days and I'll show you that rug and I'll have sticky things that hold the rug down by then too. All right. All right, it is here. I'm excited to see how this one looks. Now this did not come in on Saturday. It came in on Monday, which is today. <laughs> it said it was gonna be here on Saturday, but then I got a notification that said it had shipped late. Oh, it's 
not the right one. Dang it. It's what I get for ordering it without my glasses on, I guess, huh? Yeah, no, no, no. The picture is not what I got. Guess we're gonna be continued, to be continued again. I'm gonna have to file a claim and have them ship another one. This rug thing's become an aggravation now. This is not even the right size. I don't even know what size this is. This is a four by six. It's supposed to be a five by seven. But you know what? Since we got it here, why don't we look at it with this size? Cause this is a, this would probably be a really good size. So maybe this mistake is actually good for y'all. Let's look at it real quick. And it actually fits really well in the space. The colors are kind of the same of the one that I want. I don't like the pattern of it. I want it more of a rug look. This looks more like an animal print. I mean, it's not horrible by no means, but it's not what I thought that I was getting. But at least you can now see a four by six. That gives you another size that y'all can look at. Okay. Third time, third time. I think the third time is a charm. That was two, this is three. I think I got the right rug this time. It looks like it's the right rug. It said that it was a five by seven. So now let's put this down and see how it looks. Cause I feel like I've been making this video for weeks, even though it's only been a week, but it feels like forever. So this was worth the wait. This is the perfect color. This is the perfect size for us. I love how this looks and I'm very happy with it. I know that it took a little bit of time. I feel like the three by five is almost too small. The, the size that they sent wrong, that actually wasn't terrible, but I like it fitting up under our recliners. Now, the great thing, the reason I like mine up under here, and I know you're going, well, you know, that's a lot of trouble to put them up under the recliner to move it every time I travel. I don't move mine. All I do on travel days is I move my ottoman. It goes over here and then I roll the rug up and leave it up under the, the recliners and it stays right there once I close everything in. It rides there, no problem. I did buy some rug secures and I will link those below. I use them in the house and I think I'm gonna use them out here as well. I really like those. I put them on the rug by the front door and it has held it down with Veil. She runs to the front door and slides sometimes and the rug would kind of move around before, but with those on it, it stays put. They're so weird because they're sticky where they stick onto the rug, but where they stick to the floor, they're not sticky, but they stick to the floor. And it says that you can wash them with them on it. It says just kind of push them together and then put them in the washing machine and that they'll wash. Now I didn't test that because I got them after I had washed the rug. Now the rug in the four year that I got, it's a little thicker of a pile and I love how it feels. And it was actually the cheapest rug. It would, and I normally don't talk prices, but that one was under $20. It to me felt the most expensive, even though it was the cheapest. This one here is super soft. The pile on it is not as thick, which I think is kind of better in a camper because it leaves less room for dirt to get down in it. Another thing that I noticed about the rug, Aspen the other day had an accident on it. And when I walked by and looked, it was puddled up on top of the rug. It hadn't soaked in. So I just got a napkin and laid it on top of it. So then for my experiments, and I don't know if y'all can see, it's hard to tell if the footage came in. I took water and poured it on top of the rug and it just sits up on top of the rug. It soaks in a little bit because you can feel that it's wet. Most of the liquid stays sitting on top of the rug and that one's been washed. So I can't say that it's got a coating still on it because I've washed it and the coating would be gone if it did. This rug, it does the exact same thing. I poured some water on it and it rolls off. Now the rugs that I'm returning, I'm not gonna pour water on them because I put that I did not use them. They were just not in the packaging. I'm sure that they do the exact same. I was totally shocked that the water rolled off of them because they're washable. I'm not sure exactly why or how that works. So this is my favorite way to do a rug. 
I hope this helps you try to decide what size rug that you want for your camper. Till next time, like and subscribe.